Whoa, 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 what it do, man? Original hot boy, young Turk, out here, about to go hit the radio station. Y'all know I'm working, whoa, they, you know what I'm saying? Got Brad behind that camera. Got my son with me, you know, my big son with me, you know what I'm saying? Twins at home, y'all already know how we rockin', man. Ten times a hundred, why ain't the mob? Whoa, they... Oh, yeah. the hood, deep in the woods, where them niggas be hustling, thugging and smoking that good, toting them gas, dressing in black, where them hoes be on the porch playing tongue and pity pack, and in the projects, the ghetto, the gutter, the slums, where niggas be bop that murder, red rum and that dirty, dirty, where niggas got thirty, thirty, and like Tiger Wood, nigga push them birdie, birdie, be on the track early, hood niggas and hood chicks. Gifts, man, you know what I'm saying? That's how you get treated with gifts, man. Keep me up. Strawberries, man. Oh, man, come on, man. <laughs> come on, man. Hey, I, I ain't lying. I need one of these, too. Look. Man, I need one of these. Boy, that. I've been Man, come on, man. Bait. Peter Paul show. These stools right here. Look. That boy, Turk. Look. Yeah. I got a real, true, genuine star. A real, true, genuine man. A real, true, genuine father and friends to many in the studio, man. Once y'all, well, we can't hear y'all, but at y'all house right here for me. Give it up for that boy, hot boy, Turk, man. What it do, baby? Wow, what's happening, Wody? Wody, what's happening? Welcome home, man. All the time, man. You already know it's all love when I hit the building, you heard me? That's what's up, bro. Hey, I gotta tell y'all, man, he, he came through and it was not an issue. He showed love immediately. He got his people with him. Everybody greeted me. It's just like a like a family. It was like a family feel. And I was I was nervous. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't know what to expect. <laughs> and um, and the way I was raised was to come at you the way I came. How y'all doing? Oh, Shake your hand and stuff like that. But at the same time, I, I just I don't know. My my mind just be going and going. I don't know what to expect. But man, your greeting, everything was warm, and it was the way sure. I hoped it would be, bro. And I greatly appreciate that, man. But. Show. Where you been at, man? Now you know, um, now I've been on a vacation, man, for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Um, quite sure everybody in New Orleans that follow my situation you know that I went on. They know I went on a little vacation. You know what I'm saying? Eight year, eight months, sixteen days. You in Memphis now? Right? Yeah, 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 man. You know, I'm out there. You know, me and my wife are married with kids, more kids. You yep, know what I'm up. saying? Um. I just stay focused, bro, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to stay out the way, keep my focus on, you know, stay away from all negativity, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Yeah. Hey, and I tell you what, having a wife, having kids, keep you out of trouble, keep you away from all that foolishness, and it gives you a better life, you know what I'm saying? And oh, yeah. a lot of things come to you, and, and you can think more into the future, yeah. rather than that, the, the fast speed, that, that we all were on at one point in time, you know what I'm saying? Like prior to your eight eight years and 16. <laughs> eight year, eight months, 16 eight, days, eight, something like that. Huh? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So now that you're settled yeah. and you're grown now, you're looking at the world in a whole totally different perspective. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You feel me? But you still got that, 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 that serious New Orleans flavor artist in it. You got that heart of a lion that just, just spit like a... Yeah. Woo. You know, that's how they, they, they breed us down here in New Orleans, man. It's something in that water. You know, um, <laughs> no matter where I be, you know, I'm 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 New Orleans to the bone gristle for real though, you know what I'm saying? I just had to move on and you know, if anybody that know me from back in the day, they know I used to really be out there young and thugging. Right. You know what I'm saying? So um for me to go through my situation and come out the man that I am today, yeah. I'm proud of myself, man. I I pat myself on the back, you know, and um any of my old friends or anybody that's out there, they feel that I didn't change. I did change. I changed for the best. Better. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And I want everybody to really just follow in the footsteps because, man, you, you have to grow up. You got to be responsible. You got to hold yourself accountable. And that's what I do every day. Right. Dig, dig. Well, let me just add 10 minutes. Are you, have you been homesick? Have you ever, like, said, like, man, but we about to pack up and we going back to New Orleans. You ever thought about that? I mean, you know, that thought runs across my head every day, you know. Um, I have an older son here, so, you know, it's a part of me that's here. I have family here, so, you know, but my heart is where my wife and my kids at right now. Right. You know what I'm saying? I understand that. But, you know, I always want to come back. I always want to visit my family and, you know, just keep it moving like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sometimes you just grow apart. You grow out. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Right. What about that? You missed, you miss, I mean, I know Memphis. Got barbecue and all that kind of stuff. What about the oh, ain't nothing, food, not, I ain't nothing, I ain't nothing yeah. like that. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, my wife could cook. Yeah, yeah. Get me wrong. 
But you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing like getting a little. Like, I just come from my, my grandmother. You know, I told grandma I want some of the turkey necks. You know, <laughs> turkey made macaroni. And she gave me a plate full of rice. I ain't eat all the rice and, 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 and potato salad. You know, yeah. pineapple cold drink. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. Hey, bro. I, uh, now, I understand you got a. Uh, your own company now. You the CEO, president yeah, of your yeah. own company, man. Y N T, Young and Thugging. You know I ain't get from it. You know I'm still, man, keeping it thugging, taking hardship, using God's gift in spite of negativity, though. Right. You know that's 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 my acronym for thugging now. You know, it's keeping it on a whole nother. Like I say, man, I'm, I'm more responsible. I hold myself accountable. You know, I just keep it family orientated. You know what I'm saying? Keep God first, family second, everything else falling in place. You hear me? You came a long way, bro. I, I want to take it back. I mean, it's back prior to Cash Money. Back to your childhood. What was it like for Turk growing up as a child? Basically, it was hard going, coming up. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like I say, my daddy, my daddy was there, but he wasn't in the house. You right. know what I'm saying? So I took upon myself to become a man at an early age. I had to. You know, it was me, my mama, my two brothers. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my mama worked two jobs. You know, I was good in school. I got in middle school. Things changed, man. You know, I stopped messing with drugs. Drugs came into play, you know what I'm saying? And the drugs started controlling me, you know what I'm saying? And at the same time, I wind up getting a deal with cash money. So drugs and a deal with cash money being young, it kind of messed me up coming up. You know what I'm talking about? So man, it was like a, it was it was a, it was an everyday struggle battle within myself. You know what I'm saying? I can't blame nobody for nothing that I went through. Anything that I was, I went through, it made me to the person that I am, so I don't regret anything. You know right. what I'm saying? But it was tough coming up, man. You know, I, I had a drug addiction. You know, so that's hard within itself, and I had a drug addiction at an early age, 14. Wow. I made like 22 years old, you know what I'm saying? Well, during that period, or was it before that period, or after, before or after 14, when did you know you were, I don't even know how old you were when you actually signed with Cash Money. Everything happened around the same time. You know, um, I actually signed with Cash Money like 16. Okay. But I had been around Cash Money going back and forth in the studio from 14, 15. You know what I'm saying? And at the time, man, it was like, let me see if this is what you really want, Leo. And that's how babies used to talk to us. You know what I'm saying? So my faithfulness and dedication. To, to, to cash money at the time, you know what I'm saying? It proved that I wanted to be a part of it. Right. You know what I'm saying? And um, they gave me opportunity, man. You know, they, they they took me out of the situation that I was in. But like I say, I was still bad and demons within myself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it was what it was, you know what I'm saying? I'm signed to a lady with a drug addiction. And, and that's what it was, you know what I'm talking about? But speaking of that situation, um. What actually went down in, 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 in Memphis, man? You know, I heard a bunch of different stories on the street. I'm nobody no story, man, but, but but me and my wife who was there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The woman that's sitting in here. So, I mean, like I say, I was in my house, you know, to make a long story short, police officers kicked in the door SWAT team. You know, um, it was told that I had kilos of cocaine and heroin in the house, and wow. SWAT team came in the house, and Two police officers wind up being shot. You know, I wind up going through time for attempted murder and a convicted felon with a firearm. I went to trial in the feds, got found guilty 120 months, got 12 in the state rank of I did my time, I'm back home, you know what I'm saying? But you know that's what it was, man, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, I can't I can't rewind a half the time, you know what I'm saying? But that's what I was charged with, so hey. Yes, they be modern in them damn projects.